Hey, um, some of you might have seen this uh, tweet from uh, Dan explaining how uh, creating a new React app using uh, Yarn was done in less than five seconds and without creating a non-models. So we'll talk a bit about this uh, to explain why we did that and how we did that. Uh, one simple fact, while they work, non-models have a lot of shortcomings that have even been acknowledged by Ryan Dell, the, author, uh, the original author for Node. So what are those issues? First, the very design of non-models make them extremely I.O. Uh, heavy. A staggering amount of file has to be copied from the cache into the project folder, and this for every project you have. Uh, even at runtime, we need a node to resolve the file uh, dynamically, meaning that it has to make a lot of uh, I.O. calls in order to check whether the file exists or not. On top of this, the way non-models work make it impossible to fully optimize a dependency tree. For example, in the slide you can see, uh, you have a classic case where a package cannot be optimized into a single one uh, because of path conflict. Uh, because of this, not only will the package will be copied twice on the disk, but on top of this, Node itself will instantiate it twice, which is not very uh, efficient. Another issue, not the least, uh, is that non-models are allowed at GAN. You never know uh, for sure whether your application will work or not if you forget to uh, list a dependency into your package.json. And the worst thing is that you really have no way to know it. For example, uh, in the case detailed above, if you forget to list Lodash uh, into your dependencies, uh, it can work by sheer virtue of the hoisting. And uh, if by any chance your production uh, remove for ex uh, doesn't install the dev dependencies, for example, uh, there is a chance that Lodash won't be installed and everything will crash at deploy time. So we've seen that non-models are a problem, but can we really get rid of them? Can we really find something better that works right now with the ecosystem as it currently is? Uh, to answer this question, let's talk a bit about what the node resolution actually is. Uh, it all starts with Yarn that uh, creates a non-model when you run Yarn install. After that, when you make the actual require call, uh, Node will ask itself the same question over and over again. The, does this file exist? No. Let's try in the parent folder. Does this file exist? No. Let's try in the parent folder. And it will ask itself the same question until it finds a matching entry. It purely reasons in terms of files and directories. It knows nothing about packages. So how can we uh, improve that? Uh, thinking about it, Yarn knows everything about your dependency tree. It installs it. So why do we let Node have to figure out where are located the package on the disk since we know it at install time? Can we leverage that? As mentioned, Yarn knows everything. It knows where are the package on the disk and what are their dependencies. All of this can be stored uh, at install time in inside a file that can then be used at runtime by Node. Uh, this is the Node resolution we just seen. Let's see how we could change it in order to leverage a static resolution table. There we go. So, uh, instead of generating a non-modules folder, we would instead generate a single JavaScript file that we call the .pnp.js file that contains uh, all the knowledge Yarn has regarding your dependency tree. It contains everything uh, from the location of the package on the disk to their own dependencies meaning that when Node has to uh, figure out the location of, the, of a package, it just has to look into a few maps uh, without making any require call, and everything is done. There is no more the try and repeat process until it works. Everything is uh, directly there. Mm. It doesn't go to the next one. By doing this, uh, we can reach almost instantaneous installs. More than that, we can now enforce the boundaries between packages, meaning that your applications are stable, more stable when they are deployed into production. You don't have the risk that suddenly a package doesn't exist anymore, because otherwise you would have been notified while developing. Uh, that's some of the advantages of uh, such an approach, and uh, if you want to know more, feel free to discuss with me either uh, in the uh, room, in the hall, or through Twitter, and I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.